Hi, my name is Richard Duffy and I am the Product Evangelist here in Acumatica. In today's session, what I'd like to do is take you through the process of deploying the very latest demo data set that Doug Johnson, our sales engineer extraordinaire, has put together for you. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the partner portal and download the uh, zip file which contains all of the information that you'll need. So you'll need to go in, log on to the partner portal, and then if you go into sales and then you choose sales materials, if you go down here into demo materials, you'll find this file, generic demo package, which contains the instructions, a PowerPoint to use for the demonstration, and also a snapshot. And as you know, in Acumatica, a snapshot is really a um, the capturing of all the data and the system parameters at a particular point in time. So Doug has put together that snapshot for you and you'll be able to restore that into, um, you'll restore that snapshot into your Acumatica database. So in order to download, it's very simple, just click on the link and when it asks you what do you want to do with the file, go ahead and choose to save it. And save it wherever you like, uh, just remember where that was and we'll let that rattle through and let that save. And that's now done. So if I open the folder, you'll actually see I've got two versions of this because I've downloaded it once before. So I've got demo package one and demo package.zip. So they're both exactly the same file, just that I happened to download it once before. So go and uh, unzip that file. So I'll just go and right click on it and choose extract all. And I'm going to uh, extract it into a download folder called Acumatica underscore demo underscore package, which is the default that it's going to create. So I'll choose extract and that's now done. And you'll now see what have you got? You've got your demo data document, the how to demo PowerPoint, your demo data readme, and here is your uh, rapid byte snapshot. So if we go ahead and we'll open up the demo data document. So you'll notice that Doug has done a really nice job of putting together the table of contents, explaining what this document is all about, and then giving you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to, uh, on how to prepare the, uh, the snapshot and how to restore it in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through that in a video because I don't know um, how you find it, but for me, I always find it easier if somebody actually takes you through the process as well so you can see the screens and everything like that. But that document is there um, if you need it and you'll notice uh, there is a readme.txt in here and there's a couple of things um, that, that Doug's pointed out that you need to, to do. Um, on page five to seven, you've got the instructions on how to install the snapshot. But remember, once you've installed the snapshot, you're going to need to replace the system email accounts with your own Gmail or POP3 IMAP account. And then you'll be able to effectively start using the system. So how do you bring that data in? Well, let's go across and we'll go into Acumatica. And right now, I'm going to go and log into my own Acumatica database. Now, important thing to note, in order for the snapshot restore to work effectively, you'll need to make sure that you're logged in as admin. So that's a user account admin, and the password is 123. So before you start uh, in that company database that you're going to restore the data into, you want to make sure that you're using the username admin and the password is 123. Of course, once you've restored the snapshot, you can go in and you can change that password. You can create additional users and everything like that. But that's what I've done. I've got a data set right now. I'm logged in as admin. My data set is actually in a data set called Evangelist. Uh, but if I go in here into System, and I go here into Manage Companies, and you'll see this is where I have the ability to go in and, um, and create snapshots and also restore snapshots. So you can see that I've actually done this a couple of times before. Here's a recommendation for you. If you don't want to lose everything, then my suggestion is, first thing you do is that you create a snapshot of your current company. And all you have to do is click on Create Snapshot. Go in here, give it a, um, give it a name. So I'll say prior to demo db restore. All right. 
I'm going to go in here and put it into full export mode because I want to grab every uh, every single component of the database. And you can see, you can narrow this down and only pull out certain components if you want. But I'm going to do a full um, I'm going to do a full export. All right, I'm going to include any customizations that I have. But bear in mind, customizations are system wide. So when you're bringing back in um, a snapshot, you probably, if you've got customizations, if you've got multiple companies that you're working with, you probably don't want to bring back in the customizations with a snapshot. But I'm going to tell it to exclude the customizations just in case I do something dumb in the process. So I'll say OK. And we'll let that rattle away for a second. And then what you're going to be looking for is you'll see uh, what will happen up here once the export is complete. Instead of this being the little uh, red cross telling me that it's still working, that's going to finish spinning around and that's going to become a green tick. So we'll give that a couple of seconds and then we'll come back. And you've also got your little um, elapsed time progress meter here, so keep an eye on that as well. So there you have it. You can see I've got my prior to demo database restore. That's sitting there so I can now take that and export it out of the system if I want. But the next thing I want to do is I want to go in and I want to bring in the snapshot that Doug's created for us. So I'll go in here and I'll click on import snapshot. Browse out to the location where you've unpacked those files. So remember for me, it's out in my downloads uh, folder. And down here I've got my Acumatica demo package. So there it is and there is the rapid byte demo data set that I've got. So I'll choose that and then I'll say OK and then I'll choose upload. And same thing will happen now. It's bringing that data in for me and if you wait a little while uh, that data will come in and then what you'll see is you'll have uh, an additional data set in here. Now if you're worried uh, at any stage that maybe the system's taking a little bit too long or you're not sure what's going on, you can always go and check the running processes. So if you go across here into automation under the system menu, you can go here and you can say, let's take a look at the running processes. And there it is, there's that process that's running and it's going to take, uh, well, so far it's been running for around about 25 seconds, but um, if I hit refresh, you'll see that's been running for 38 seconds, 41 seconds, and so on and so forth. And of course, once that process is finished, that background running process will, um, will disappear. But what I can do is I can go there and I can say view screen. And what it will do is it will take me to the actual screen uh, where that data is coming into. So um, that'll just bring me back to where that process was triggered off from. So we'll give it a couple more seconds. And you can now see that that's completed. My operation's completed. I've got my little green tick there. And let's go back here into my automation and let's have a look at our running processes. And you can see that that process is now finished. So let's go back into management. I'm in managing my companies. And so remember, the company that you're currently in is the company that it's going to be brought back into. So when you go and you um, restore this snapshot, it's going to restore it into the company database that you're in. So let's find the one we want. All right. Now you'll notice that all of these have the same date. Uh, that's because every single one of these was brought in um, from the same base package. So you'll see that's the creation date that's there. So it's not actually showing me the date that I brought it in, but it's showing me the date that the package was created. So I can pick any one of those three. Again, remember why have I got three? Because I've done this import process three times. All right, so I'll pick the one that I want. So I'll pick this one, for example, and then I'll say restore snapshot. And you'll notice that it's saying restore since selected snapshot to the current company. So I'll choose that. I don't want to include my customization. So I'll just leave it as it is. That's all correct. That just gives me the ability to check. Is that the one that I wanted, which it is. So I'll say OK. And now we'll let that run. And that process is now uh, executing in the background. Then once it's finished, I'll want to log off and log back in to double check that I've got the data that I want. OK, so I'm going to leave that run for a second. 
And now you can see that's completed because my uh, my operation status has now gone to completed. I've got my little green tick there. It took a total of two minutes and eight seconds. And of course, the amount of time it takes will be dependent on the backend server that you're using. And that's it. So my next step is I'll go up here into um, my user section and I'll go in here and I'll say log out. And then I'll come back in. There's my admin and my 123 password. That's my database that I'm working in. So I'm going to choose login. And now what you have is you have the, uh, the database all set up uh, exactly the way that Doug has got the, the data set up. So you'll see he's done a really nice job with these dashboards, giving you some nice icons here in your uh, company dashboards. And now you're ready to be able to go ahead and start executing those demo scenarios. Now in some future videos, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a walk through each one of those demo scenarios and show you how to, how to execute each one of those demo scenarios. But for now, your data is ready. And remember, what you'll also need to do before you go ahead and start using the, 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 the demo scenarios is you'll need to go into configuration. You'll want to go into your email options and you'll want to go in and reconfigure your email preferences. Okay, make sure you set up the email addresses and the mail servers that you want to use. So hopefully you found this uh, helpful. I look forward to seeing you when I take you through each of the demo scenarios.